Thanksgiving, and we're going to do these meal makeovers all week. So now we're talking green bean casserole. It's a popular dish for dinner. You've got to have the green bean casserole. So how can you make it healthy? Julie Magnuson, who's a board-certified health coach, is here to show us how. We already did that cranberry sauce, which was amazing. Oh, yes. Okay, and, and this is actually really good. It doesn't taste like diet food. I love this. And there's yes. actually three main components to green bean casserole. It's the green beans, the cream sauce, okay. and the fried onions. But we're going to do a little bit, uh, one little tweak to each component to make it a little bit healthier. Let's do it. So we have our green beans here. Uh -huh. And actually what you want to do is blanch them, which is boil, and then put it in an ice bath. Because okay. you don't want to overcook the okay. beans. Okay. Okay. Now with the cream sauce, you actually want to start with sauteing some onions. Okay. And if you want, you can throw in the, uh, some nutmeg and mm -hmm. um, thyme. That looks good. Throw in some, I have some whole wheat uh, pastry uh, Ooh, flour. pastry flour. Yeah, and this actually okay. gets it really nice and creamy. All right. And then you'll cook that for about a minute. Okay. And then you want to add in some veggie broth. Get nice. that going. And broth. Some, some wine. And okay. actually gives it a really nice, wonderful flavor. Get all the mm -hmm. glaze that pan. Okay. And then I've added a cashew cream uh, sauce, which is Ooh, oops, nice. which is basically just cashews and water blended up. All right. And then you cook this for about a minute or two. Let it kind of thicken up a bit. Sure. And okay. Then, um, and then you'll toss it with the green beans, and you want to add your shallots on top. Shallots are so nice and just the right flavor. Right flavor. Let's do the shallots. Exactly. So if you want, mm -hmm. you can actually you want to have one dry hand and one wet hand. Okay. So you just take the shallots, you put it in. This is again whole wheat mm -hmm. pastry flour. Pastry flour is a really nice okay. light texture. Mm -hmm. Throw it in the egg mixture. Mm. I'm using a different hand to make, make sure. Nice and thick. And okay. And then some. Whoop, that's an egg right there. Okay. All right. <laughs> and you got your panko crumbs. And just place it Love on your panko. baking sheet. And, and then if you want to come over here, there's, you actually bake it for 25 minutes. Um, add it on top of your green wow. bean casserole, and that's the final product there. Look at this. And you know, some people actually go without the crunchy stuff on the top, which is okay. A lot of people fry which is, it. Oh, and, and do that. But what I think what we're doing is taking out a lot of the fat out. We're taking the salt out. But this stuff is so good. Let's try some. Yeah, try it out. And you know what? Yeah. You're actually working with whole food ingredients. Yes. So nothing processed, nothing pulled apart, nothing yes. put back together. You want to uh, work with the quality mm. ingredients. And that's key there, you know, buying organic. Mm -hmm. Buying whole. I love this. I, I love this so mm. much. I like to eat these little onions as a snack. Oh, those are just the best, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you do, you go to kdvr.com and get this recipe and just give this a try for your family. Believe me, the kids are going to like this too. Mm -hmm. I think even Greg Dutra would like this. Right, Greg? I think we need a special open for he uh, Healthy Julie. That was uh, some Healthy good Julie's got it. Oh, you, you know who you. we need to send some of those out?